Hi, and welcome to this video, which is going to show you how to calculate the volume of a prism. So, first of all, what do we mean by a prism? Well, a prism is a 3D shape, which has the same cross section running all the way through the shape. So, this shape here has this front face here, this rectangular yellow face running right the way through. This shape here has a triangular front face running through the the shape and this one here has the circular face running through here like a tube or a pringles can okay so the first one's a cuboid the second one's a triangular prism and the third one is a cylinder they're all examples of a prism now how do we calculate the volume of any prism well we use this formula to find the volume we need to calculate the area of the cross section of the shape that's the bit that was shaded in yellow and multiply it by the length of the shape so this is uh, the formula that you're given on the front page of the exam paper and uh, it shows you this shape so going back to here then for a cuboid we need to know the area of this rectangle so hopefully you already know that's length times width to work out the area of a, a triangular shape hopefully we can record it's base times height divided by two or half base times height and to calculate the area of a circle, then we multiply pi by the radius squared, pi r squared. So that's the area side of these questions. So let's have a look at this first example then. We've got a cuboid, and we can see that here is our cross-section area here. And we multiply uh, this width here by the length. So 3 multiplied by six. So the volume, I'm gonna write V for volume, is three times six, okay? So that's the, the length and the width. And then we're gonna multiply it by the length of the shape. So we're gonna multiply it by two. Uh, we just work that out, three times six is 18. 18 times two is 36. So this has got a volume of 36 and volume, uh, measurements are in centimeters cubed or millimeters cubed but if we have a look at this shape here all our measurements in centimeters so the volume of the shape is 36 centimeters cubed okay shape, uh, shape note two this prism is called a triangular prism so if we have a look here our cross section here that i'm shading is a triangle so in order to to work out the volume of this one i need to consider the cross section area first so cross section area is uh, the triangle so it's uh, base which is eight millimeters times the height of the triangle that's always the vertical height so that's this five here here's, here's the vertical height and we divide it by two okay and we multiply it by the length so the length is here and it's 11 millimeters so we're going to multiply that by 11. okay let's focus on the uh, the area part so eight times five that's 40. 40 divided by 2 to work out the area. We're going to times it by 11, so we're going to continue working out the area. So 40 divided by 2 is half of 40 is 20. I'm going to multiply 20 by 11. So the volume is 220. And in this case, all the measurements on the diagram are in millimeters. So they are millimeters cubed. So the volume is 220 millimeters cubed. The final example then is, is a cylinder. So we can see here that our cross section is a circle. So in order to work out the volume of this one, I need to do pi times the radius squared. That is the cross section area of the shape. And I need to multiply it by the length of the shape. So in this case, that's multiplying it by 12, the length or the height. Okay, so what do we know? Well, we know pi is a function that uh, we use with circles. It's a function on its own that you can use on a calculator. Or we are allowed to use pi being equal to 3.14 as well in an exam. But we do need to know the radius of this, um, of this circle. So here, this 8 is the length all the way across. And if it goes all the way across, then we call that the diameter. So the diameter of this circle is eight meters we want the radius which is only 
halfway across. So we only want it from the center to the outside. So we need to calculate half of eight. So in this case, the radius is four meters. And that's what we need to use in this calculation for this question. So I need to write out that the radius then is four. So it's going to be pi times four squared times 12. Or you can calculate using 3.14 for pi. So 3.14 times four squared times 12. And now you need to get to your calculators. So if I, first of all, use pi. So pi times 4 squared multiplied by 12 gives me on my calculator 603.1857 and a few more numbers there. So it makes sense not to have all these uh, values here. So round into one or two decimal places. So if I round the two decimal places, I'm going to cut the number here, and I'm going to use the 5 for rounding. So because we use the 5 for rounding, we round up. So we round the 8 up. So it's going to give me a final answer of 603.19, the units of meters cubed. And that is correct to two decimal places. If I use the 3.14 instead, so I'm going to go back to my calculator now, and I'm going to use 3.14 times 4 squared times 12. So my calculator this time gives me a final solution of 602.88 meters cubed. And that's already correct to two decimal places. So either of these answers would be a correct answer. Uh, you can see there's only a slight difference between the answers, which is why um, you could use either version. Just pick one and go with it. OK, I hope that makes sense. Here is your, your main task for today's lesson. So pause the video and have a go at finding the volume of each of those shapes and work them out. Um, and when you're ready, press play to uh, get your solution. So press pause now, please. OK, welcome back then. And here are the solutions for each of these questions here. So uh, Mark them as appropriately. Uh, for questions E and F, which um, were the cylinder, if you've got an answer that's very close to the answers that are shown here, then that would be absolutely fine. OK, your checking question for today's lesson then. Um, we're being given here a, a triangular prism. And we are being told that the volume of this triangular prism is 450 meters cubed. We know the length of the prism is 15 meters. And we know that the height of the triangle is six meters. I want you to use all that information in order to work out how, uh, what the base of the rectangle is there called X. Pause the video and have a go. And when you're ready, press play to see the solution. Okay, welcome back then. So what do we know about this then? Well, the volume of a triangular prism does base times height divided by two for the cross section area. And we multiply it by the length to get the volume. And that will equal the volume. So what do we already know then? Well, we already know that the volume is 450 meters cubed. So I'm just going to write in here that the volume is equal to 450. What else do I know? I know that the length from the diagram here is 15. So I'm going to multiply that by 15. Now, the triangular part then, to find the area of the triangular part is base which in this case is an x times 6 plus the height divided by 2. So we know that something times 6 divided by 2, all of that multiplied by 15 will give us 450. Now, what we need to do now is we need to work backwards to find that x. So first of all, I'm going to unpack this one step at a time. So the first thing I'm going to do is unpack this times 15. And what do I need to do to both sides? Well, in this case, I can divide through by 15. I can do the opposite of multiplying by 15. So in other words, I'm going to divide that by 15. And I'm going to divide this by 15. So in this case, here, 450 divided by 15 gives us 30. And we're left with x times 6 divided by 2 to give us that 30. 
And again, now I can, it's, it's a much simpler problem to, to solve, but again, I unpick it. So what do I do first? Well, rather than dividing by two, I can multiply by two. So I can times two and 30 together, which would give me the following, that x times six would be two times 30, which is 60. And then finally, it's something here, times six, which will give me 60. So finally, I just need to divide 60 by six. So 60 divided by six, and that gives me 10. So x in this case is 10, and it's meters, just check in the units on the diagram. Okay, well, thank you for listening to today's uh, video. Um, best wishes to you, stay safe.